you get it, then you can kind of go back around and if you need it to roll it out more in one area to fix something that like that little thing right there, then roll it out and then trim that back up. Be as good as new. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and move it on over to our finished board. All right, now I don't want to put it right in the middle. I kind of want it off to the side. That way if you want to write on the board or put, we're going to put little gold coins on the board. Um, don't always put it just right in the middle. Sometimes it's just visually more appealing if you kind of have things off to the side a bit. So let's just first pick this on up. Is it right? Right about there. Make sure it's still in a circular pattern there. The only six inch board I had was the one that is um, actually on the cake. So, but what I want to do is I want to cut out some of the center so that I can stick that cake right to the, the board with double sided tape rather than the fondant. It, it's just going to be more stable that way. So I can pop this right in the middle and just kind of eyeball it and uh, push it down, mark it, and then cut that out. Okay, just like that, and then <clears throat> grab our tape. Now it's going to be pretty thick, um, so one piece of tape isn't going to do it. One piece of tape, see how it's lower? It's got to be the same height as the fondant for it to stick, like so. And put it just as close, um, far out as possible. That way it will be le less likely to rock when the hat's in there. And I think that one's going to need another piece. Okay. All right, so now what I want to do is work on this brim so that we can get two of the sides of it to actually s stick up a little bit like this. Now for that, what I do is um, you don't want to wait too long before you do it. But I usually use some foam, something like this. And we might need to cut this. Let's just see how it works just like this. already starting to dry out on me a bit there. Okay. Let's move it back. What I wanted to do is kind of actually curl it in just a little bit like that. So sometimes you just kind of have to hold it for a few minutes until it goes where you want it to go. You know, I'm already taking too long to do it. See how there's getting some wrinkles in there? You have to kind of smooth those out. So I we'll have to put this in a place that we're not going to move it for a little while. Okay, so we will let this dry. Now I have to move it so I can use the counter, so I'm going to have to do this all over again.